Howdy guys, Bookie Laura here. I have recently finished reading Brick Lane by Monica Ali and I thought I would do one of my reviews of it. So I'm going to take one and a half minutes to summarise plot and summarise my emotions. Should be alright, shouldn't it? So this book is uh, Brick Lane by Monica Ali. It basically tells a story, I can't remember the main character's name, uh, I want to say, oh, Nazanin, uh, follows her through her, from childhood, it starts with her being born and follows it through her life where she goes to live in, I think she lived originally in Bangladesh and goes to live in England because she is married off to a man who lives there and it's basically that. It also, on the side of that, follows her sister who stays back where they grew up and it sort of tells the story of their two contrasting lives, I suppose. It's fair to say that this book was not my cup of tea. I mean, it had a really slow start and just never really went anywhere, if I'm honest. In fact, a girl in my class summed it up for me because she asked me what it was about and I explained it. And then she went, oh, and it's 400, I think it's 400, 400 pages long. She said, that only sounds like it needs about 30 pages. That is exactly how I would summarise this book. It's just a whole lot of talk for not a lot of output. And I know that that's because you're supposed to have like the message and the deeper meaning and, you know, analyse it. But I'm just not that kind of reader and it had no excitement, no drive, nothing, nothing exciting. I mean, I was kind of intrigued to see what would happen, but never that interested. I could have put it down at any point and I don't think I would have been bothered. For me, it just, it was just too slow and yeah, the end. I mean, that's good timing. Uh, uh, it's worth saying as well that I read this book as part of the Feminist Orchestra Book Club which you should all check out. They read books, uh, I guess, with a feminist theme. It's been sort of on hiatus for a while but it's back with a vengeance and I really, really enjoy it. I like the books they suggest. Uh, I like to read that kind of literature. However, this one was a no-go. I mean, is this what you'd call literary fiction? If so, it ain't for me. But anyway. That's my uh, really short and honest review of Brick Lane by Monica Ali. If you've read it, let me know. If you know what the cover looks like, that'd be nice too, because this one has got no dust jacket, so all I have is this. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.